Hello Reef DVMs coming at you here today. Today we're changing things down in the basement. We're setting up a small lab station with a camera so that we can analyze more things from the saltwater reef. Um, step one of this process, get yourself a good workstation that handle the weight of a microscope. Uh, hopefully an uh, open area on the wall that you can mount a uh, monitor, plenty of space for a laptop, and of course all your office supplies that you're going to need. In our case we've got a nice sturdy desk. And we went out and got ourselves a Nikon 50i uh, microscope here. Pretty nice uh, machine. Value on these anywhere between three and seven thousand uh, dollars. This particular one we've got um, five uh, objectives on here from two to about 60 power which is just what we want to get right down and dirty with the slides we're going to make here of the uh, aquarium stuff. After that get yourself at uh, any Menards or home home store some type of uh, mount for your uh, monitor. We went out and got ourselves a Acer monitor 24 inch. Uh, we wanted one with an HDMI port because that works really well with the uh, microscope camera system that we're going to be using. So basically get yourself a monitor. Uh, on the back of the monitor most of them have standard mounts so we're just going to put the screws in for this uh, mounting plate that we picked up in the store. We're going to plug in our HDMI and our power cable and we're going to basically hang this monitor. Pretty much a simple process. Basically the microscope comes out of the box, plugs in, ready to go, screw on a few objectives. Uh, buy yourself a monitor, mount it in on a wall with a couple stud screws, then mount the monitor to the um, uh, mount, which is good. Uh, pull the plastic here off it so we can uh, begin to use it, and then basically hook up the uh, wires. The monitor has a power cord and it has an HDMI cable. The HDMI cable will go right to the camera. The uh, Microscope has a power cable and of course uh, what we're going to do here once we're done uh, getting this all wired up is we're also going to add a laptop to this setup so that we can capture the pictures um, and be able to type at the exact same time uh, that we're looking at things. In our choice we're going to use a Dell 4500, um, I think it's used so it, it'll work real good for our purposes. Once the uh, laptop is mounted in and everything's set up on that, uh, step five here is get yourself a good DSLR camera. In this case, we've got ourselves a Sony Alpha 35, um, excellent camera, and a microscope adapter. We're going to go with the Verimag 2. The Verimag 2 comes as a complete kit. The Verimag part comes with a C-mount adapter. If you have trinoculars, comes with a camera ring here, as you can see. And it comes with um, some nice uh, magnifying lenses, uh, 1.5x and I think 2.5x. Then it comes with a 30mm and a 22mm uh, eyepiece tube adapters, which is probably what we'll use to set this up. Nice thing about the Verimag is, is it's from 1.5 to about 3.5 power, so you can really dial it in depending upon your microscope. It hooks right up to the Sony camera. We're just basically going to release the standard lens that came on it. We're going to put our adapter ring onto the Verimag, which then will allow this to quickly adapt right onto the Sony camera. Now on a Sony camera, by the way, you do have to go into its settings and tell its shutter to remain open so it actually can shoot live footage. Um, but it's a very simple process. We're going to set the 1.5 power um, magnifying lens in it, and I'm going to set it at 1.5 power on the Verimag. We're going to use the eyepiece adapter, so that basically just screws on the end. Again, you can use the Trinoc. We'll probably show you how that um, fits on a microscope at a later date. In this case, we're going to take that Nikon 50i and we're going to mount this right into an eyepiece tube. Then we're going to hook an HDMI cable up to it, go right into the TV, and um, the TV will also come down to the uh, laptop and uh, hook into the laptop. And then we're, we're going to be set basically to take pictures and view. So pull out the eyepiece and uh, stick the camera adapter right in. And then it's just a matter of basically hooking up the uh, HDMI cable to the monitor and to the camera so that they communicate. And then again, we'll go from the monitor down to the laptop so that'll communicate too. Grab yourself a slide. In this case, we're going to take some uh, intestinal cuts here from uh, one of our um, unfortunately deceased aquatic friends. Uh, get the microscope fired up. Turn the camera on. Uh, it does have, like I say, a live video mode, which is great. 
get that picture up on the screen. You don't even have to look through the uh, microscope eyepieces. You can just uh, drive with the uh, microscope um, uh, slide controls and watch it on your monitor screen. With the click of a button, you can take very simple pictures and they'll instantly get transferred over to the PC as JPEGs. Any Windows program can help open it up. It's just a nice, quick lab setup for a few thousand dollars. It's going to really advance Reef DVMs and what we'll be able to do in the future and put out for videos. Again, we appreciate your support. Continue to click and like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll continue to produce videos. But here's our current lab setup that we're going to be using for the next couple of years, we hope. Thanks, folks.